Network Television main event, the Tag Team Championship of the Pacific Northwest. The champions, the Olivers, Rip Oliver, Larry Oliver, putting their title on the line tonight against the challengers, the Wrecking Crew, the Grappler, and Equalizer. Are you ready for this? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Just send him to the ring, and I'll call him like I see him, Todd. How's that? Maybe. Is that ready? Well, I hear garbage cans and chains. That must be the wrecking crew coming in. This is a clean house. Yeah. The equalizer and grappler are making their way to the ring right now. Let's go out there and get ready for the action tag title time right here at the House of Action. Woo. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. No, we don't Let's change the music and bring in something Ladies and gentlemen, better. your next event of the evening will be one fall for the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Championship. Introducing in the ring at this time, the challengers, the team of the grappler and the equalizer. They are the wrecking crew. Their opponents and Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions, the team of Rip and Larry Oliver. Here we go. We're getting ready for the Tag Title Championship match at the Portland Sports Arena. On one side, you've got the champions, the Olivers. On the other side, the challenger, the wrecking crew. This is going to be a good match. This is going to be a good match. It's going to be a great match, but how can you call the Olivers champions? It was a fluke victory. It's like when uh, Douglas beat Tyson, just a fluke. What are you talking? This was, this is not, this was not a fluke. Rip Oliver has trained his son very well, and Larry Oliver has certainly made a mark for himself in this, his first year, his rookie year of wrestling professionally. Coming from a very impressive amateur background. Oh, look at that. There's a good arm drag on the grappler and things are rolling right now yeah well executed arm drag but that doesn't win matches when the when the title's at stake when there's big money riding is he a money ball player that's all i want to know well we're going to find out down he goes over goes grappler now oh, close line by larry oliver and grappler is down and he's on his knee and he already knows that larry oliver can't get the job done larry did the job three times on the grappler this past week now, were you there to see the type of match? You see how the victories were won? No. I heard plenty about it. I heard plenty rumors. about it. It's rumors. I heard the grappler was really, really caught off guard and surprised. Because Larry Oliver is a young man who keeps improving more and more day by day, week by week. Now, look at this. There's Rip Oliver laying it on the grappler. Oh, a hair pull by the grappler. Down goes Oliver. Tag is made. An equalizer comes in. Boy, I tell you, Rip was what he... He was ready for EQ at that time. Oh, uh, Oliver's no slouch, and I mean, he's been around the wrestling wars for a long time. Maybe he has a little bit of experience right now against uh, not so experienced Equalizer, but Equalizer's tough. He's leaned up. He looks like a, a missile. There, there he is, too. Well, yeah, he does look like a missile because he, he's flying around all over that ring, thanks to Rip Oliver. Oliver with an arm bar on... The equalizer and makes a tag now with Larry Oliver and it's Larry coming in. Well, I want to talk, I want to take just a moment here to talk about something that uh, is very, very serious. It's a letter that Rip Oliver got and he shared with me before we went on the air tonight. This letter is from a lady by the name of Gaylene Taylor who's with the Sheridan, Oregon Rodeo Board. Now, there's a young man in Sheridan. His name is Kyle Hook. He's 11 years old. He has just this past week been diagnosed as having a cancerous brain tumor. Now, he's undergoing surgery next week at Dornbecker Hospital. He's in Dornbecker right now. And he's going to be undergoing uh, uh, surgery, under, undergoing chemotherapy. Obviously, uh, our hearts and prayers and thoughts certainly go out to uh, Kyle Hook and his family and uh, Don and Vicki Hook. The reason she wrote the letter is that they're having some fundraisers right now for the Hook family. Uh, and uh, Rip Oliver is going to become involved in this, I understand. 
uh, first of all, Kyle is has been very active in Pee Wee Rodeo, where he won trophies and buckles, and uh, he, as a, his efforts as a top, he's a top roper. He's 11 years old, very active in rodeo, and uh, he is a top roper in the in the area down there. On Saturday, November 10th at 8:30, Sheridan High School Auditorium. They're going to have special raffles and refreshments. Door admission is just $5 a couple, $3 single. Kids through high school and senior citizens are a dollar and a half. Rip Oliver is going to be there, and they're going to have some fun on November 10th at Sheridan High School. And they're going to raise some money for the uh, Hook family, for Kyle Hook, and uh, to defray, try to defray some expenses, of course, that are being incurred by the surgery and the chemotherapy uh, treatment. So we just wanted to pass that along. By the way, uh, it's going to be, uh, I understand there's going to be something going on at the Green Frog Restaurant in Sheridan uh, at 6 p.m. on the 10th, that same night, before everything else gets underway at the high school auditorium at 8.30. So I thought, if you want to join the Rip Oliver down there, hey, it's, a, it's a, an excellent uh, idea, and it's a good thing. It'll make you feel good, and you'll have some fun at the same time. I just want to say that we'll get back to the action right now. Well, we got a lot of action to get back to as the grappler comes in and lays one on Larry Oliver. Right now, uh, Larry Oliver paying some more of those dues that we keep talking about. Yeah, he's got to pay them dues, like I said. It's put up or shut up. He's going to find out what kind of money ball player he really is. Let's see if this kid can tough it out. I'm sure he's had an impressive rookie season. All right. Give me a hand. It's a big boys tonight. Well, the grappling. The grappler now just incensed Rip Oliver. He kicked at him. And over the top rope goes Larry Oliver. Now, that is a disqualification. But the referee's back is turned. He didn't see it. You can't call it. That's right. If you don't see him, you can't call him. Not like you, because it makes stuff up if he doesn't see it. I call that. It's over the top rope. But I also know the referee didn't see it. And Larry Oliver really, really, more than paying dues out there, he's paying a heavy price right now at the hands of Equalizer and the Grappler. And when you get those two guys in there together, uh, you're going to pay some heavy dues. You're going to pay uh, big prices. That's right. It's like I said, you want to be a wrestler, do you, kid? Let's see if you can tough and hang with the big boys. Oh, another body slam by the Grappler on Larry Oliver. Well, he only got a one count before Larry kicked out. Larry trying to get over and make a tag with his dad. Here, now well, we got Equalizer and Grappler both in there. I want you to notice how the Grappler is showing the, the veteran that he is. He cut off the tag attempt by Larry Oliver to his dad. That shows that they are a tag team and they know how to work as a team. A backbreaker by Equalizer on Larry Oliver. Now this will put away most people right here. Now, this young man, and he reaches down, grabs that adrenaline, grabs that Oliver spirit and pride, and he kicks out, and he's still going. Well, I'll tell you what, next time he better grab a little deeper. He's going to get the three count, and the Oliver spirit along with them belts is going to be gone. All right. The monster hug by a monster himself, the equalizer on Larry Oliver. Now, Larry trying to reach down there and break that hold, and he's doing it. Now, there is something that you know Rip caught it. Ah, but there's something that the grappler taught Equalizer to hang on to one of those four limbs, and you can always bring a man down. Equalizer makes a tag with the grappler. Grappler in there now, picking up where Equalizer left off on Larry Oliver. And here comes Larry into the turnbuckle. Wham! Just like that, here comes the grappler. Oh, 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 oh. Look what Larry Oliver found. Atomic drop into the turnbuckle. Oh, grappler is... He's hurting out there. His eyes are a little glassy right now. He's rolling in pain. He's reaching over, trying to make a tag. He can't even find Equalizer. He knows exactly where he's at. He's just momentarily stunned right there. See, he found his corner. He made the tag. There we go. Get him, EQ. Larry makes a tag with Rip. Well, now we got fresh blood in there. Look at Rip Oliver all over Equalizer. Into the rope. Coming off a high level. Down goes EQ. Uh, grab there. What's Grappler doing there? There was no tag. There wasn't any tag. Oh, maybe they made a tag and you didn't see it. Oh, and there's a tag head to head. Now, what's Larry uh, Oliver doing in there? How come you don't ask those questions? Well, that's because Equalizer is in there. Oh, well, got Equalizer is supposed to be in there. He's the legal man. Well, we got everybody in there now, anyway. Everybody. A Pier 6 or a Downey Brook, as you would say, right? Yeah, yeah that's true, too. All right. Oliver, Rip Oliver on Equalizer. Larry Oliver's got his hands full. 
Grappler. And look, there goes a thumb into the throat of Equalizer. Yeah, that should be outlawed. That's an illegal thumb. probably loaded. Well, they'll outlaw that when they outlaw that foreign object that uh, Al Madrill uses. Uh-oh, down goes the referee, Sandy Barr. Grappler ran into, he was actually thrown into the referee. The Olivers are unaware of what's going on here. Oh, no, wait a minute. Come on. Take him out. What's That's going on here? Grappler's got the chain. Out. He's going up on the top rope. Comes down and crashes that chain yeah. into the side That's right. of Rip Oliver. That's a disqualification. This thing's over. Hey, all I can say is thanks for those ribs. <laughs> you bet. You bet. The belt does not change hands on a disqualification, certainly, especially a blatant one. That well, wait a minute. What are these guys doing? They're grabbing the belt. They beat him. No. They won the match. No, no, they no. should be entitled no. to the belt. No. Well, Sandy Barr takes care of that. The belt stay with the champion, the Olivers. A disqualification. You know the belts don't change on a DQ. The grappler and EQ are a little upset about that, but they brought it on themselves. They did it to themselves out there. But they raised their hand. Other team was disqualified. They should get the belt. No, no. Isn't, no. That, isn't that how it works? No, it's not. <laughs> Look on page 18, paragraph 5. We'll, we'll be right back that. with more right after that. Yeah. Say something, John Cost. Everybody in this arena and everybody out there watching television right now knows that the record crew are the true Northwest Tag Team Champions. As we can beat them any day of the week. Anybody knows the record crew can beat the Olivers. And I want Barry Owens out here right now. Owens, get out here, you weasel. I got something I want to tell you, boy. I got something real important I want to put in your ball headed ear. You understand me? Owens, come here. Let me tell you something. Everybody knows the record crew is the number one tag team. Every time we turn around, we're getting disqualified because we're meaner and we're tougher and we're nastier than anybody else. I'll tell you what I want. I want a rematch with the Olivers next Saturday night. You can put it off TV, whatever you want to do. I want no disqualification, two out of three fall tag match with the Olivers. And I promise the people, as sure as I'm standing right here, that the record crew will be the Northwest Tag Team Champion. You want a two out of three fall, no disqualification right. match next Saturday night That's for right. the title? That's right, because we're the champ. That's right. Off TV, I don't... Wait a minute. Look out. Look you out. Keep him back right now before he gets hurt worse than he is. Ah, Hush. 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 Come on. Hush. What are they wanting? He was saying that he wants a rematch against you guys for the titles next Saturday night. Two out of three falls, no disqualification. You're any kind of a man. If you're any kind of a man, you'll give us a match, Oliver. You know we're better and we're tougher and we're stronger and we're a meaner team, boy. And we deserve those tag titles. Well, Barry Owens, I know what this guy's got in his head. And he's got his muscle-bound freak back here with his chain trying to break some ribs. They want a two out of three falls. Larry and I is not calls it champions, boy. You want a two out of three falls here next Saturday night? We'll give them a two out of three falls. Okay. You got your two, two out of three two fall two match out. right here next That's Saturday. Perfect. But as far as a no disqualification goes, they want to pull tactics like it just did with the chain. If Sandy Barr catches them, there won't be no disqualification. If he catches them, they lose the fall. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! We don't want no rules like that. We don't want no rules. So if we get disqualified, we lose the fall. Hey, hey, hey! hey, hey. Hush. We'll get be quiet. Three. You got your title match next Saturday night. You and the Equalizer against the Olivers for the belts. Two out of three falls. And yes, we are going to make it. If a person is disqualified, that counts as a pinfall. You're not that very right. as a pinfall. I never go for that kind of rules. You're that. That's wrong. We're just a little bit too smart, Grappler. I know. Thank you, Bear. You got it. You got the two out of three title match next Saturday night. Larry and I will put our belts on the line to anybody at any time. But, Grappler, I've been around the road a few times, too. And when you want to know disqualification, if you get caught, the belts never change hand on the no disqualification. They always keep the belts. But if you get caught disqualifying, 
doing with your chain or whatever, if we get caught with my brass knucks or whatever, it don't matter, Grapper, the referee will call it as he sees it. The fall will go down to the other team. And I'll tell you what, Larry and I is ready. We kept the belts tonight. Grappler, equalizer, next Saturday night, you want them, come get them. But remember, watch your tricks, because you can lose the match. All right, it's only fair. That's only, it's only fair. To, now, obviously, this will not be on television. No, this will not be on television. Two out of three fall for the title. If a disqualification will act as a pinfall, so it will can't no matter what. All right, that's next Saturday night. We will be right back with more tonight, right after this.